What's happening everybody? This is Casey Viper checking in. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of an intro video here. I'm getting ready to for a um, land navigation that's happening tomorrow morning. So I'm going to just go through what I'm packing my rucksack, why I'm packing that. I'm just going through all the little different parts of like the gear that I'm going to be bringing for tomorrow's land navigation. I'm going to try to video a little bit tomorrow as we're heading over to the land navigation area. I'm going to pull up my camera if I have the time to actually record. But there's no guarantees that I'll be able to do that. But I'll definitely go through my rucksack and and talk about how it was and then if I'm not able to record during that time I'll come back and talk a little bit about that and give you guys some tips that I learned from ROTC so I'll keep you guys posted Anyways. Alrighty, so over here, this is my Gomex backpack that I got off Amazon. It's been a tactical backpack that I use for school. And here are some plastic bags that they asked for ROTC to have. And that's my tactical pouch. In there, I, as I'm trying to open up with one hand, it's not very easy to. I have a um, Kershaw knife that I have with me. That's a Tanto blade. And I have some other things. I'm just trying to close it up. Didn't work. Anyway, it has some other electrolyte drinks that I have in case someone needs it. Anyway, that goes back into my pouch. Yes, there's a Mountain Dew. First top is my water bottle. That's my first aid kit that I have fully stocked up in case anyone needs it. There I just have the main source of my backpack where I will put my stuff in. Anyway, this is my LBV, I believe it's called. These are the canteens. You come with two of them. This is what we're issued in ROTC. That's the mag pouch right there that I'm trying to look for. And that is what I use for my compass. Um, this compass was lent to me by my cadet major that we're doing ROTC tomorrow. So he just lent me this really cool uh, compass that we're using for land navigations. And yeah, it's, I don't know what's going on with my light. My light's acting super weird. So just go ahead and ignore that. It's, it's Just ignore that for now. But yeah, so there's the compass that I'm going to be using. I have to return that to him. Anyway, so that goes underneath my rucksack. Uh, speaking of rucksack, oh, yeah, those are mechanics gloves that I had gotten. These ugh, light just stop. Anyway, mechanics gloves. These are super great for working, especially with the military, and they're in a um, uh, uniform as well. And that's my Kevlar helmet that I'm going to be trying to grab in a second. Uh, that is not my last name, if you're wondering. I am borrowing these helmets and stuff from Supply. Those are my boot socks. I'm having two granola bars and paracord because that's what you always need to have. Um, I'm bringing a camel bag despite having uh, that canteen. I'd rather use a camel bag and slip that into my backpack. Those are it boots that are not standard issue. Had got those earlier on and they're just easier to use. Anyway, I'm going back to my compass. I was trying to open it up and show you guys without the flashing light, but I just didn't feel like opening it up again. Anyway, let's move on to my uniform. So this is the patrol cap that I'm given. This is the cover. Um, that goes on anytime you're outside, US Army, that is my leadership ROTC patch in there. I have a small little notebook that they asked us to keep for notes and stuff. And that just goes in my side pocket. Over there on my forearm, I have a pen and a pencil. And there's my cadet private rank, uh, MS1. Anyway, American flag, we're like Thunder Battalion. Rolling Thunder leads the way. Oh yes, so whenever you're running for a long periods of time, you'll want to have like shorts underneath your uniform, just makes it easier and fence chafing. Yeah, that's pretty much my kit. That's the belt I was just showing you earlier on. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for ROTC. Oh, oh, I did forget. I did forget something. And that's my fridge right there. Um, because we are going to be out the whole day for land navigations, I made myself a really quick lunch. Uh, oh yeah, there's Izzy. Izzy Gaming. Is he gone crazy? He's a super cool YouTuber. He does video games and stuff. Super awesome. Anyway, uh, ramen noodles with some sauce and just white rice that I microwaved and put in the fridge. That's pretty much it. But yeah, that's just going to go in my backpack when I'm ready and just warm it up and it should be good to go. Anyway, thank you guys. Alrighty guys, so you guys saw a little bit what I did. I had, um, let me just this real quick, yeah. So I did, um, had two granola bars, which are right here. I'm going with these because these are going to be easy to eat. I got one of uh, two of these uh, Nature Valleys and then two Bolivas, which is a uh, banana bread. That just helps with crampings and potassium. So that's really good for a walk or a hike or whatever we're doing tomorrow. Um, so yeah, these are just super easy to eat. You can eat them when you're off running if you need to. I do know that we have a 20 minute lunch period, so that's why I brought the extra food. That's just extra carbohydrates that I'm getting in my system. I'm gonna try to grab some protein stuff when I hit the uh, chow hall tonight at dinner, and then we'll go from there. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna get yet, but probably something really simple. Um, 
Also, you're gonna. I chose a tail uh, pack because I prefer that rather than fishing through my vest. And um, this just goes to the back of my backpack. I can just pull it to the side and take a sip. It's not that big of a deal. If you want to go with, with a uh, canteen, by all means, go for it. It's just not my style. Not a big fan of that. But yeah. Um, uniforms up there. Uniforms ready to go. Uh, boots are ready to go. I just need to pack up my stuff into my uh, rucksack. So I just realized. I was just told that we don't have to use the rucksack that we were issued um, the other day. We can just use whatever we have. So I chose to go with my black backpack with Shindai squad patch. Go Shindai. And uh, yeah, that's just what I personally chose to do. You can either go with a rucksack or you can go with a black uh, backpack. Um, your choice. Um, since you're not probably going to be carrying a lot of weight, especially for land navigation, if you want to try to make things as light as possible, go with something smaller, go with something that's easier for you to carry. So yeah, um, is there anything else I missed? I can't think of anything. Anyway, I'm just probably going to get, uh, I'm still the day before planning period, so once I get out tomorrow morning and get ready, I will get some videos up and running and we'll go from there. Love you guys. Stay frosty. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I got up about at 0400 oh, right now it's probably about 0450 oh, yeah i'm sorry i just turned on the lights so my eyes are not adjusted to this but yeah um we're off to land navigation uh fully kitted up um i need to check my backpack when i warm up some food just to make sure that i uh lunch uh just basically carbs and stuff but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun i look forward to seeing what the day brings and then i'm gonna call up a private, another fellow cadet make sure that he's up and running and not asleep and missing PT. So yes, we're gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. By then we should probably be either at the bus or we're probably going to be on the way to the bus. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Just kidding y'all, uh, I'm at the kitchen. I just warmed up some food that I showed you guys yesterday in the uh, with the noodles and the rice. Just warming that up to make sure I have something that's not super cold. Probably gonna be cold because it's like what? Five something right now? Let's see. It is 520. It's 520 right now. So we're having chow at like 12, 1220. So yeah. It's gonna be cold. Well at least it's not gonna be fridge cold. So we have that. But yeah, so this is the kitchen that we are given to at our dorm. It's a really small little kitchen, it has an oven, it has a uh, stove and everything, but yes, I'm exhausted. Should be fun. Should be fun though. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, patch. Also, if you guys are having issues remembering which side your uh, branch logo is, you remember when you cross your heart uh, for the pledge? <laughs> ah, stupid allergies. You always got to put your right hand over your heart and the military has your heart. That's just one way you put it. Uh, unit patches are usually going to be on the right hand side. Deployments are usually going to be on the left. I think. Or is it the opposite way around? I think it's the opposite way around. It's deployments on your right, units on your left. I would double check that because my brain's working perfectly despite them telling us the other day. So yeah, we have that. We we're just waiting for food to warm up. And I almost dropped my camera. Didn't drop it though. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure why my shoes are wet, like at all. Here, can I show you guys? It's just awkwardly wet. I don't know what I spilled on it, probably water, but not 100% sure. Uh, no, we did not blouse our pants, and my pants are too big for me. So, yeah, that's why it's like baggy. So, I'm gonna try to fix that later on. Anyway, food just finished, and I'm gonna go wake up the uh, cadet again. Alrighty y'all, we are out here in front of Jenks, which is the military science building. I'm a vlogger, so I vlog and I do dumb stuff for videos for you guys, only for you guys. But yeah, so we're waiting for first formation, which is FF, which is about in 20 minutes. Right now it's 0610-ish, give or take. But yeah, we're just waiting for first formation. And we're just gonna chill here, probably catch a few Z's before we have to go off for an hour to another place in uh, Illinois. Yeah, so we are here, just waiting. Uh, and we're just gonna try to sleep. Okay, good night, y'all. 
Alrighty, y'all, I just got back from my navigation. Um, it was a pretty interesting day today. I'm gonna put some videos um, up and running probably either before this or in between this. I wasn't really able to do much uh, filming. It just was not in the situation to do it. And I just wasn't really up to holding the camera and walking around, which you can't really do in uniform either. But yeah, so nice patches are slightly messed up just from carrying a backpack and everything. But other than that, it was pretty good. Um, the first objective was that we had to find five different points um, that were given to us through coordinates that we went to a um, army reserve training camp area so that was pretty cool it wasn't too difficult to find the points actually the first point took us a lot of time because we weren't really familiar with the terrain after that everything got pretty much easier but I only hit three of the five points just because of time constraint um, after that we did buddy rushes we did the front crawl and then we did the earth front crawl and the low profile crawl and then we did tourniquet application basic first aid stuff and we did that combined together at like a um, group squad activity so we had like a whole company the bravo alpha squad yes that was pretty much all we did so we left campus at about I want to say 0700. We got there at 0815. Didn't start training till 0900. And then we got back, which is right now about 1612. So yeah, that was pretty much all we did today. It was really interesting. Also, if you're wondering why I don't have name tape yet, they haven't issued that to us yet. So I'm still waiting to hear back from them about that, which I should be getting hopefully soon. With, and then, yeah, and then probably without the next few weeks, I'll be able to do more filming. Uh, we have this field training exercise FTX, which is happening September 23rd, 24th. So I just get to do overnights um, and all that stuff. So I should be able to film more then. Um, we'll see what the situation holds. I did film a little bit while we were ending the whole exercise and whatever, but it wasn't like me constantly filming. Just sorry about that. I know you guys were interested in wondering what I was doing, but again, it just wasn't the situation to do that. Um, what else did we do? We just learned how to apply a tray kit, which basically you would try to cut off circulation to the body. Uh, FYI, for tourniquet reasons, you can only, um, after two hours, uh, there's gonna be some soft tissue damage. Just FYI, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I did cut on my hands with some thorns. We ran into a thorn bush, so a lot of our guys are all scraped up on the neck and everything. High gloves, so that helped a little. Um, yeah, so the packing list was pretty easy and pretty good. Um, if you're wondering why Ziploc bags, if we are doing land navigation, that is in case you're sweating a lot or it's raining, you just put your map inside there, you can draw on it and all that fun stuff. Um, that was pretty much how my day went. We ha oh, I did have my first MRE today. I had MRE number 17, which is the pork sausage patty maple flavor. To be honest, that wasn't too bad. It It's hard to explain what it tasted like. It was just like a soft piece of meat and you just poured maple syrup on it. So it wasn't too, it was really wasn't bad. It was really good. And then I had an MRE cracker, which I was gonna save, but I got hungry because I just got hungry. So I ate that. But I was gonna do the um, MRE challenge where it's like eat that in like two minutes or one minute. I have, I have to double check what that is with no water. But yeah, um, FTX will be coming up soon, so I'll be able to do more about that. Oh, we also were taught how to tie the Swiss knot, so that's the key what you do for the rope climb. Um, actually, let's see if I have enough rope to show you guys. There's more enough, I should Maybe a little too long. Oh well. Alrighty. So we did this with snot. This is actually gonna be very way too long. I would do it anyway though. I'm just unraveling the paracord. Actually, yeah, this is gonna be way too long for this. Um, that's about 50, uh, 50 yards. I'm gonna find a uh, small one. Hopefully, this will be good.
This is long enough. Okay, cool. So I'm using black pear corn. You're gonna you're supposed to be using like a Swiss other type, but anyway, this is what I have on hand if we haven't been issued our stuff yet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take in your dominant hand, which in this case is my left hand. Um, it's backwards right now, so just this is so none of my patches are off. This is literally my left hand. So you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna put it against your waist, or if your right hand, you put it against your right waist. You put that, and you're gonna wrap it around your uniform. And make sure you have the ends pretty much even. Then you're gonna do a, a triple tie, which is gonna tie it around once, and then you're gonna flip it underneath again. Like that. So you can probably not really see it very well. Then after that, you're gonna let tie it as tight as you can. You want this to be at about your belly button, a little bit above your belly button. Make sure it's tight. This, um, if you guys are rock climbers, this is just like rock climbing. Um, the harness that they give us. And then you're gonna take this between your legs. And then you're gonna tie this like this and you're gonna make sure that your strap is coming as close to the middle of your back per se. You want to have enough room so that it's not cutting out too much circulation but you have that. And then you're gonna do the same for the other side right here and then you're gonna make sure you're putting it through that and then when you are ready you're gonna tighten it as tight as you can. And do a squat and tighten it up. That just helps makes everything tight. And once you're gonna do that, you have it like this. Everything's all tightened up. Everything's pretty much secure. You're gonna take whatever on your side. For me, it's because I'm left-handed. This thing is gonna go on the right side. If you're right-handed, this is gonna go to the left side. You're gonna tie a. Make sure it's as tight as possible. That just makes things easier and less difficult on your body. Take this. I'm gonna tie a, um, uh, a square knot. If you want to learn how to tie knots, go ahead and just search up square knot. And then you're gonna do a safety um, knot. So you can go um, for left-handers. It might be different for right-hands. I wasn't taught how to do right-handed. But you're gonna take. Um, the one closest to your body, and you're gonna do from ground to sky, and you're gonna make a little loop, and you're gonna tighten this through. On the back, on here, which is the one further towards your back, you're gonna take this, and fold it over underneath to the sky. So down to the ground to the sky. And that is pretty much how you do your Swiss knot, I think. That's how I believe that we did it. It does feel a little bit different than how we did it on training, only because they were using a different uh, type of cord. But over here is where you get the carabiner. I don't have one on me. Don't worry, we're not using these tiny little carab carabiners. But for purpose, take a car carabiner, and we're gonna hook it between these two. And there you found yourself a Swiss seat. So it's just gonna make sure that this one is well when you're climbing. This is basically what secures you to the uh, rope so you can climb it. So well, that's what we were taught. Um, land navigation. I wouldn't be the best person to ask just because I am an MS1, so I don't have much experience with land nav. But it wasn't too difficult. Um, Suggestions on um, what to bring. Make sure you bring plenty of water, even though it is cold. You'll want plenty of water because you're going to be sweating, you're going to be running. It is a timed event, so just try to do that ahead of time. Um, canteens, as I said in the last part of the video, you can use canteens, you can use a camel bag, you can do a water bottle. It doesn't really matter. Um, try to get some sugar into your system and eat a nice protein rich breakfast if possible. I'm not sure how your school does it, but we have to uh, come up with our own breakfast and then lunch they provide for us through the MREs. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty fun today. I will show a few clips that I was able to take, but yes. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know if there's any suggestions that you guys want me to talk about and I'll be free. Anyway, this is Cadet Chan, signing off.